So, hello everybody. The aim of the video today is to help you understand when you're on a ketogenic diet for weight loss, what is actually happening in your body. So in the first week, you are going to go into ketosis. That means you're going to deplete the glycogen stores in your muscles and in your liver. And so that first weight loss is simply water. But that's the good news because it means that you're depleting your glycogen stores. But the aim is to burn fat. Now we want to understand after losing three, four, five kilos, are we actually losing fat? One big problem on the keto diet when you're losing weight is you are addicted to the scale. That's why I'm holding on to it. Don't be addicted to your scale. Weigh yourself once a week, wake up in the morning, get undressed, have a pee, get on the scale, write down your weight. But I'm gonna explain why the scale is not the best option. So you must definitely not get on the scale every morning. You'll get very depressed, so don't do that. Weigh yourself maximum one time a week. But I'm going to explain now what is the best way to understand what's going on in your body. Now let's look at this first example. A woman has lost 3.8 kilos and that is what the scale tells her. Now what exactly happened? If we look precisely, the news is fantastic. She has actually lost 3.7 kilos of fat, more than her weight loss, but she has gained 1.1 kilo of water. So she has actually really used her fat and she is better hydrated, which is fantastic. She also lost a little bit of muscle mass and that happens, it's actually natural. So good news for that case. Now if I look at another example, a little more depressing, we see on the scale that this male has lost 5.2 kilos. Now if we go into detail and see what actually happened, what we see is that out of those 5.2 kilos lost, there is 4 kilos of water. So this person is highly dehydrated, the person has lost a little bit of fat, 300 grams, and some muscle mass, 860 grams. So not good news, even though the scale says you've lost plenty of weight. Now, now I'm going to explain how I can analyze those results in detail and what you can do at home to check what's going on in your body. Now the images you've just seen were measured thanks to this medical device, the BioD Expert, which sends a multi-frequency current through my foot, which is going to monitor what's happening in my body. Have I lost fat? Have I lost water? Etc. Now, how does this work? I'm going to put this device on my ankle and there's going to be a current, multi-frequency current, sent up my leg, right up here and back down. I'm going to compare that to what happens when we get on a scale. Right. So some people buy a scale in the shop that says that it's going to measure your hydration, your body fat, your muscles. So what happens is I get on the scale, right, and what's happening here? It's actually measuring from this foot up here and back down. Right? And that's a big problem because it's not measuring what's going on here. And often the fat is right over here. So that's the first problem with the scale is that we are only measuring the bottom part of the body and not the whole body. The second problem with the scales that you can buy in shops like that is that they are monofrequency. So there are two problems about that. First of all, with a monofrequency, you will not be able to analyze the quantity of water in a cell. So it will not be precise. We'll only have the outer cell water. And second, it's based on the principle that the water in your body is stable, which is false. From one day to another, your quantity of water will vary. If you eat a very salty meal, you're going to have more water in your body. Right, so there is a way for you to measure what's going on in your body. Of course, you can come to me and you can do a session with this fantastic, this is my, my toy, I love it. You can do a session and we can see what's going on. Or I'm going to give you a tool to help you measure what's happening in your body without having to buy a medical device that's going to cost you several thousands of euros. Go ahead with this. Amazing! What you're going to do is measure your waist and that is linked to your loss 
or your gain of fat on the condition that you're not bloated due to constipation because that can give you bloating or due to your cycle if you're a woman now what we know is that if you lose one centimeter around the waist that is generally correlated to one kilo of fat so if your scale tells you that you've gained two kilos but this tells you that you've lost two centimeters trust this now how do we measure so to measure what's going on around your belly what i do is i take a first measurement two centimeters above or under the belly button then i make another mark at the, the same height approximately and i measure from this mark right down here we have 102 centimeters and I'm going to make exactly the same measurement on the other side, 102 centimeters. And then what I'm going to do is measure, there we go, the size of your belly precisely passing over the three dots. So here we have 64.5 centimeters. Now, in a week's time, I'm going to do the same measurement again, and I will make the same marks so that I'm sure to make the measurement exactly at the right place. Because if you don't do that, you could be too low, and suddenly you've gained three centimeters. So be precise especially if you have quite a lot of fat around here and of course do it without shoes if you have shoes on you're going to change the height so take your shoes off make one two three dots at the precise height relax your shoulders and you've got a precise measurement of what's going on in terms of fat so I've just given you a very nice tip on how to control what's happening in your body do this once every week two weeks and you must know that belly fat is the bad fat it's unhealthy so it's not only a good way to check if you're losing weight and fat but it's also a good way to know are you staying healthy I hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up bye for now